Good day, good people. It's your girl, Jenny Moran, checking right back in. Misfit to Madness on the move over here. All right, y'all, I just woke up, and it's like these days when the Holy Spirit takes over you, y'all, you don't never know when <laughs> it's going to be your time to move, but you're going to need to move every time. I wrote about it. Move in fear. That's exactly when you need to move. That's exactly when you trust in our Father to carry you through, to make sure that you do what you supposed to do for Him so He can get the glory. Remember, it's bigger than you. It's bigger than me. It's a big old, we like a big old puzzle, y'all. And it's all these pieces that need to come together. And when you don't turn your life over, that's when the puzzle be missing pieces. And if you ever did a puzzle and you be missing pieces, you be mad. You be like, where the pieces at? That's how a father feel every day. All right? Y'all, everything I say, I'm about to say out of love. I just want to make that very clear. Sometimes whenever you're growing, the things you need to hear the most they going to make you feel these emotions. They're going to be like making you feel like, ooh, angry at first. And psychology says that's normal. When you are about to grow, y'all, you're going to go through four stages. You're going to get mad. You're going to try to point the blame and blame other people. Then you're going to learn how to accept it if you of healthy mind. You're going to learn how to accept it. All right? And then you also going to, well, before you accept it, you actually do reject it. And then you accept it. And these four stages I actually went through, y'all, whenever I was on my journey. I'm still on it every day, okay? I still have to turn my life over every day. If I don't, y'all, I'm a slip and fall too. That's just the way that it is. All right? Y'all, this spoken word is going to be called... Uh, blowout. So, what I mainly want to touch bases on, y'all, today is addiction. I see it every day, y'all, especially when I came home from Dallas. I noticed all around me all the extra liquor stores that they had built. And I was thinking to myself, I'm sure everybody says that Shreveport is full of violence. So if that be the case, why would they build all these liquor stores knowing that this stuff holds demons and controls? It controls the way we think. It controls exactly what we do. Y'all, that is the government setting up a fool a fool is someone who gives in who don't pay attention to their surroundings someone who is not going to educate themselves any further than what the school did y'all everybody know one thing that the school system eh, is iffy and i'm just gonna leave it there because one thing i always thought to myself when i was in school y'all I never like history much. And the only reason that was, it was because I was thinking to myself, why don't they upgrade these books? Why are they teaching one thing about segregation? Segregation will be a possible thing that will last a lifetime. It's a seed that they plant in people's mind. And then in turn, it controls society. You might want to replay that part because a lot of people fall victim to the system. And then they want to point the, point the fingers at everybody else and try to make them listen. Y'all, I have had an iPhone since they literally first came out. Is it me? Or is it them who always making you updated like every month? Why do the phones need to be updated but the books in the system don't? Y'all, that is one thing I can know. It's about mind control. 
all right? We need to educate ourselves further than that mess because the world is so much bigger than what happened centuries ago, okay? The world is so much bigger than what happened centuries ago. Y'all, I love my history, learning where I come from because in turn that always help me to understand where I might go. Where I might go. So that's why it's important to know your history, to know where to avoid. All right? Y'all, I'm wearing my favorite color, red. It's always been my color. Y'all, I ain't no gangbanger, and I ain't claiming nothing. Red is my favorite color because it reminds me of the blood of Jesus. That is why it's my favorite color, y'all. So don't never misconceive it. So back to my point about these liquor stores and all these demons. Yes, there I said it. Alcoholism is a huge problem in our city. It's going to stop you from making your true true living because oftentimes we on the couch chilling y'all that's a waste a waste of time you could be prospering on your mission see the devil wants you stagnant minded so that people don't hear you when you talking Instead, a lot of people be gossiping, and that is a waste of time and energy. Don't none of my friends that's close to me call me with nothing messy. Everyone knows I love the Father, and I will talk about that all day. Y'all, that brings me to my next point. I'm getting so sick and tired of people coming for Jesus. Man, get away from me and get, get out here with that mess. Man, you sheeple are sickening. And that is why it's ignorant is bliss. Because once you know better, man, that's like suffrage. It's suffrage because you know better and you want to tell the world. But the world rejecting Jesus and God. And that's what be hurting me the most. When people take their time out to represent our God and people be hating on them. Man, you the one that's flawed. It takes courage to get out here each day and talk about the Father. Man, people reject him and then make jokes as if it's funny. You people make me sick with that. Sick to my stomach. But I'm going to tell my saints out there, keep on going. I love when people reject me because I know it ain't me they doing it. I could post a stupid picture of me every day wearing different clothing. And in turn, that'll be really loved and liked. And y'all, that ain't nothing. But when you talk about Jesus and the Father, man, he ain't popular. I do my studies. And yeah, I'm coming for you. That means I'm coming for you so that you can turn over your life and do something anew. I know, y'all, it's the best way to live because if he did it for me, he'll do it for you. Forgive yourself. Let it go each day. We gave a new life. You the one who have to understand we have a forgiving father who loves us and wants us to come home to him. Be careful what you encouraging out here in these streets. That's going to bring me to my next point, y'all, is... <laughs> These children and these babies, they need us now more than ever. 
Because guess what? They are future. And we gonna need a future of children who grow up human beings understanding that it's not all about them. Y'all know I don't have no kids. But if you know me, you know I love all of them. Y'all, I got kids. Or I got friends with kids. And now grandkids. Now, y'all, we getting older. Y'all, we are in our midlife. Okay? It's time to change again. Like I said, y'all, I got friends. And they got grandkids now, y'all. And most of them say, Jenny, they ain't going nobody else's house but yours. I don't have no kids, and they ain't going to nobody's house but mine's. Y'all, that's a true honor because they see God in my eyes. I was a child. I know what it's like to be hurt and talked about. I know what it's like when the older people in your life totally let you down. And I ain't never forgot how I felt when I was a little, little child. And that's why I love all the kids. And I really want them to survive. Survive past the struggle and the things that's trying to bring them down. Y'all. It breaks my heart to see a child who be drinking now. Y'all, when I was a kid, I wasn't thinking about no alcoholism. It, it just wasn't a thing in my house. And I'm so grateful it wasn't. Because that's a journey that it's just plain and simple sickening. All right? And then I seen some older people post how now you can't tell these kids nothing. And that started because we stopped caring enough to say what was right with courage. See, back when I was coming up in the hood, Everybody was your mother. And if that adult told you something, you didn't even stutter. You didn't think to say nothing. But yes, ma'am, okay. Because you knew one thing when she saw your mama, she was going to tell it and you were going to get a whooping. Y'all, to my older people out there, I want you to know you scared. A lot of things have to do with the older people who won't step up and do what they supposed to. Instead, what I see is a lot of older people who want to be your friend. Who don't want to take the responsibility of the role they was given. Yes, it's hard to say the things that people don't want to hear. But that's what planting seeds is all about. You plant them. Then you veer. Watch God work inside their brain. Because once that seed is planted, it's definitely going to grow. That is what we do in turn. You know, we reap what we sow. Amen. So, that brings me to my next point, y'all. We need to quit hating on God. Well, if you do, do you, boo. But me, I'm representing one. And ain't nothing gonna stop me, not even you people talking, talking bad about God. Remember, I wrote about it on purpose, y'all. Reject him now. And in front, of him, in front of him, he won't even know you. It's going to get real out here, y'all. 
and his people, we gonna rise. I ain't no gangbanger at all, but a warrior, yeah, I am inside. I ain't scared of nobody, y'all. I ain't never been scared. That was way before Bone Crusher said it. Until he take me home, I'm going to be here singing along with him holding my hand. Y'all, that's Jenny Moran with Blowout. Because I, I know things need to change in our city. I know things need to change for the better. And I know we have it in us, y'all. It's still a lot of love in this city. It's still a lot of saints out here representing for the Father. Putting your post up. Making sure it's known. Hey, yes, I love them. Guess what, y'all? That's actually harder to do. Knowing people going to talk about you because you represent Jesus. That's actually the hardest thing to actually do. You moving in fear every day. I respect you and I love you. It takes us to unit. We're we going to have to unify on these people. We're going to have to unify to get release these demons out of our city, right? We're going to keep on going. We're going to keep on posting. And guess what? I ain't hating on nobody else for posting different pictures in a different outfit, taking the same picture every day in a different outfit. I like it. I love it too, okay? I'm glad you're looking good, still feeling good about yourself because encouragement, a lot of people do be needing that encouragement for themselves. You never know what a person going through. So this is what I'm saying to the people that's being negative out there, okay? You wasting your energy because it takes way more energy to be negative than positive. Y'all, I don't wear makeup. I don't filter no pictures. Never have I ever. I always love men accepting me. Y'all, I ain't lost game, lost game, lost weight. People be saying, you look like you on drugs. Then you look like a cancer patient. Then you look like this, you look like that. And you know what? I still don't care. Because guess what? Yes, life happens. I'm a natural faster. If you don't know what that means, you need to get in the word. When I'm going through, I stop eating, y'all. That's a natural fast for me. And guess the, what? That's how I get through every time. You can survive a week without eating food and drinking water. Water is so pure and holy. You can survive a whole week without putting any substance in your mouth to eat. And water will sustain you. That's how strong water is. That's how powerful water is. And it's the purest thing on this earth. Get to know the word. I ain't never cared about nobody judging me. I'm going to be little till I go home. I've accepted it. Okay? Everybody not meant to be fine. Everybody not meant to be poom poom pow. I'm a little poom poom pow. And I accept that about me. I hope everybody learned how to accept themselves because y'all, one of my favorite rappers, well, he ain't no favorite rapper of mine, but I like the words that he uses in some of the songs that he raps. J. Cole said it best when he said, why you in there so long putting makeup on what God already put his paintbrush on? Women, you killing yourself to find a man that'll kill for you. Y'all, if that ain't one of the powerful, most powerful things I have ever heard, that is so powerful. If you accept what God already put his paintbrush on, everybody else gonna accept it. Because beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. And if I'm honest, you could be drop dead gorgeous with a pound of makeup on, but whatever come out your mouth, to me, that make you ugly. There's power in the tongue. And if you're not using it for good, you're using it for evil. And it's just that simple. If you're not being positive and you're not supporting people or trying to understand their journey, because a lot of people who post about God every day, guess what? They've been through a lot. And they appreciate what he brought them through. They showing tribute to the most high. And if you hating on that, you sick. You need to go to somebody's bishop, somebody's church. You need to, they call it the emergency room where I'm from. You need help. 
And to the people that's attacking scripture, you're working for Satan. It's just that simple. If you're not being positive, you're negative. Two ways here. You're going righteous or you're going the other way. That's only, that's it, y'all. That's all I'm trying to say. Stop being a hater. Okay? That's your girl, Jenny Moran, with Misfit the Madness. I'm not holding back no more. Okay? And this is the Holy Spirit talking through me because I'm telling you, Jenny, she flawed. One love, y'all. I'll be back.